Uh, welcome. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, introducing multiplex nanopore sequencing and diagnostics for high resolution class 1 HLA typing. I hope it works. Yes. Well, HLA stands for human leukocyte antigen and is the most gene dense polymorphic and disease associated region in the human genome. At the moment, there are over 10,000 alleles known for HLA class 1. Uh, class 1 consists of three genes HLA A, B, and C. Uh, the number of alleles known is growing very rapidly, and I think uh, it will grow more rapidly when full length uh, sequences are acquired with the Menaean sequencer. Uh, precise allele matching is very essential for solid organ and stem cell transplantation, and it's, uh, well, this will reduce the risk of getting graft versus host diseases in the patients. Well, with uh, Short reads that are acquired with uh, classic uh, next generation sequencing approaches. Uh, they will uh, cause ambiguities in allele curves. Uh, this is because the short reads are very hard to align against the very polymorphic HLA region, and it's very hard to distinguish if SNPs are one or another allele. Uh, with the Menine sequencer, we can uh, get rid of those uh, ambiguities because we can sequence full length. Um, at the moment, we can uh, sequence 12 samples at the same time for HLA A, B, and C. Uh, that's 36 amplicons. Um, here you can see one of the 36 results. It's uh, HLA A. Uh, we've got a high resolution uh, typing uh, without any mismatches. Um, I don't have any slide from the R9 flow cell, but uh, we see that we got uh, a very good data. Uh, so <coughs> Why are we going to, uh, well, uh, we're going to uh, uh, multiplex the 12 samples and this will save a lot of time and will reduce the cost. Um, I'm very happy to announce we're going to introduce it in routine diagnostics next month. And, uh, so they, it's uh, going to be fun. And uh, well, we got also HLA B and C working at the moment uh, and we're going to optimize HLA class, uh, non-classical HLA <coughs> genes like uh, HLA E, F, and G, and we're currently uh, optimizing HLA class 2, uh, like uh, DQ, DP, and DR. So it's uh, very promising. Well, thank you for your attention. Do we have a question? Down at the front here, please. I just wanted to ask, what, were the, what would be the main clinical applications for your routine testing using this method? I'm sorry? What are the main clinical applications you hope to address using... Uh, donor matching, it's like donor uh, matching. patients and donor matching. So that's very important. <laughs>